Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is your boy Zeno Martinez here, back again with another combo tutorial video. And today we are covering the newest scientific ninja tool for the defense class called the Hacksaw. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to add a disclaimer that a majority of these combos were done on bots in the pit, meaning that when you're actually using these combos against real players, there is a possibility that they may not work as effectively. So keep that in mind when checking out this video, and I definitely recommend that if you have this weapon that you practice and experiment on your own or if possible with friends. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First up on our basic combos is the light attacks. Now four light attacks leads until about a 14 hit combo, which includes the initial stun. Now I do wanna keep in mind that the first light attack actually includes two swings. So therefore the second light attack actually leads into the third, and then the fourth includes the other hits in the combo. So just keeping that in mind. Now, when it comes to the heavy attacks, the first heavy attack actually does three swings and then the second heavy is actually the hit that leads you into the air and then coming back down with the chainsaw. Heading into our basic air combos, here you can see that three light attacks lead into about 10 hits without the initial stun. Now, the second set of basic air combos is the heavy combination, which is basically just pressing heavy twice. But I do wanna keep in mind that the first hit in the heavy is actually three swings, and then the final secondary heavy leads into the last two hits in the combo. Heading into our intermediate combos, we are gonna continue with the air combo so you can see the different variations that are available to you in addition to the basic ones that we just covered. Here you can see that two lights into a heavy lead into about nearly 10 hits, I would say, if you exclude the six hits in the combo initially before I even started the air combos. And here, one really cool thing about the air heavy is that instead of doing the secondary heavy after the three swings, you actually have an opportunity to land ninjutsus like Karma and possibly even ninjutsus like Cooling Breeze. Another cool thing about the heavy air combos is that even though you're pressing heavy twice, you still have an opportunity to land ninjutsu like Karma and even possibly ninja tools like Cooling Breeze and maybe even the Lightning Ninja Tool itself. Going into this intermediate combo, I want to remind everyone that the first light in the combo when you're on the ground is actually two swings. So therefore, you do the light once, and then once the secondary hit hits, that's when you hit heavy, and that's when you hit heavy again.
While experimenting with this weapon, I found that if you only hit light attack twice, it actually adds a stun animation that gives you an opportunity to not only use ninjutsu such as partial expansion or wood strangle, but also ninja tools like piercing note, cooling breeze, or even the lightning ninja tool, which is really cool. And if you think about it, it gives you an opportunity to also include after the stun some basic or even intermediate combos to follow. And the same thing can be said for the ground heavy combo, meaning that if you just hit heavy once, it gives you an opportunity to use ninjutsus like wood strangle or even other ninjutsu such as cooling breeze. While experimenting with this weapon, I will say that I wasn't able to find anything that I believe to be truly advanced combos for this weapon. And I found that the combos overall are pretty basic and simple. But the truth is that it is a really great weapon. I enjoy the combo animations. I love the ability to add ninjutsus and ninjutsus after landing two lights or even a heavy. And I love the fact that the heavy animation allows you to push through ninjutsus such as Ross and Rampage and continue to punish your opponents thereafter. For me, this weapon is a really great addition to the defense class, but I will admit that it does not have a heavy priority when it comes to going up against Tamari Fan. Tamari Fan is still the number one heavy animation prioritizer when it comes to the defense class. I feel like that was kind of a little bit of a word <laughs> tongue twist, but basically Tamari Fan will still have priority over this weapon the same way that it does for the Executioner Blade as well as other defense weapons. So you definitely want to keep that in mind when using this either in base battle, combat, or even in the pit when you're going up against another defense with a Tamari fan. In addition to that, the heavy animation, because the first heavy leads into three swings, you are not able to interrupt that animation whatsoever, which really gives your opponents an opportunity, if you miss them, to be able to take advantage and capitalize on the fact that you're still stuck in the animation. So you want to keep that in mind when you are fighting your opponents and using the heavy attacks, because it can leave you really vulnerable to enemy attacks, and you want to make sure that you're not doing that. But as far as recommendations, I would definitely recommend this weapon. I really loved using this weapon and I love the combo potential it has, especially with the Ishiki DLC. And with that being said, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, y'all, it's Hard Akio, but your boy wouldn't know. Period.